time at Staples Center in a close one. Welcome, everyone. I'm Damon Bruce. The Los Angeles Lakers in front against Atlanta. High speed, high energy. Every time they get the ball, they're off and running. Kobe has the game high. He has eight points, and his two-way play has been good. Very active on the defensive side of the floor, bothering shots and bringing that energy all over the court. A scrappy effort by Atlanta. They've done a great job closing out their defensive possessions, grabbing boards, great rebounding. Lewis Williams bringing his A game tonight. At over 50% of his shots, you know he's happy about the first half he just turned in. That's it for us here in the studio. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. Welcome back, everybody. The start of the second half getting underway. Both teams battling hard through the first half. Kobe Bryant really making a difference here. Yeah, he was on a mission there in the first half, just trying to get into the lane every time possible. Aggressive attacking basketball at its very best. That'll be a five-second call. Boy, in a close game especially, those plays really hurt. Williams with the ball, and Young picks him up defensively. Williams double team. T kicks to Horford. Tipped and stolen by Keenan. Oh, and there's the alley oop. Out of bounds, Atlanta will take possession. I tell you what, that's just a major unforced error right there, guys. My goodness. The Hawks trail by three. You know, offensively last season, guys, the Lakers just never seemed to be able to get out of their own way. I mean, they had the worst turnover ratio in the league, and they really struggled to take care of the ball. And even when they got up a shot, a lot of them were questionable shots. They shot the third most threes in the league, but were in the bottom half of the league in percentage. And out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. And going back to the Lakers' offensive troubles last season, the worst free throw percentage, Steve, in the NBA. And obviously that's attributed directly to Dwight Howard I mean, because the Lakers also led the league in free throw attempts. So Howard was getting hacked. He really couldn't get it going. He made about half his free throws for the season. And that just really carried over into the team's performance. Dish now to Corver. All alone. Up again. Great positioning on the putback. And that's now six points for Al Horford. And a nice soft touch on the board. And you know, when you have that gentle a touch, those tip ins are easy to come by. Mm -hmm. Well, easy points, free points for a guy with that kind of strength and agility in the paint. You've got to go for every second chance opportunity. Stupendous rush to the rim and a mighty slam on the end of it. But through the teeth of some pretty soft D. I can't help but say that. Well, let's see how that impacts things here. Because those kinds of plays sometimes can be game changers on both sides. Here is Williams. He has seven. Well, it's without question Kobe Bryant's always going to be known as one of the great scorers in the history of the game. But for the kids watching at home, it is really worth reminding you of this. He can do it all. He's fundamentally sound in all aspects of the game. He defends, he rebounds, he passes. To be one of the true greats, you can't just focus on one thing. You need to be able to do a little bit of everything and do it all well. Shots good from Young. Well, they certainly didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Well, that's important because this game, I think, is going to be decided by who controls the paint in crunch time. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. 
And for Kobe Bryant last season, right at the top among shooting guards and rebounds and assists. And despite his workload offensively, he's a, a very good defender too, especially on the ball. He spent all defense nine times on that first team. Had 12 all defense selections overall in his career. Tied with Kevin Garnett for the all-time lead in both categories. And the Lakers making a change here. Hills checked in. Horford the pass to Williams. The shot from the low post is good. Williams has got nine. Man, a gaping hole in the defense that time, and he didn't waste any time getting through it. Nash against T. Nash outside. Kicks to Hill. Poked away. And stolen by Horford. And here we go. Teague heading to the hoop. Throws down the breakaway jam. Boy, I love it. Active hands on the steal. Active feet on the fast break. And Clark Power on the dunk. And guys, this is just too close of a game to be giving the ball up like that and then failing to get back in transition. Kobe having just a fantastic game. Ten points and a block. You know, as tremendous as his stats are, what I've liked most is just the effort he's put into this game. Yeah, it's really been something, Clark. The energy that he's brought. He's worked his tail off at the offensive end and first guy back defensively as well. And Kobe drops them both. Williams with the ball. Nine points in the game so far. Outside Teague. He feeds it to Millsap. He's up against Gasol. Millsap kicks to Teague. Back to Millsap. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. You know, I love watching a guy like Paul Millsap play because he's so efficient in his movement and he's crafty. He's able to score big numbers on guys much bigger than him. And Millsap, not quite six foot eight, but he's got everything else. Motor, skill level, and Steve IQ for the game. Yeah, very well-rounded. And his wingspan really helps defensively. You know, he's led all power forwards in steals each of the last three seasons. So he really does a nice job defensively. Nash dishes to Hill. Back to Nash. A nice passing here by Los Angeles. Backing down is Bryant. Nash outside. Five on the clock. And there's the feed to Kobe. Young. The fadeaway. And the rejection by Corbin. And now here comes Teague leading the break. Rejected by Kobe. Stolen. Fast break for Hawks. Teague, the pass to Williams. Chance there to take the lead, missing. Lakers have gone two of four here to start the second half. Backing down is Bryant. Young outside. There's the three. That's in, coming off an assist by Kobe. Young's got five points now this quarter. They've been splashing home those threes since halftime. Definitely a big improvement in their shooting from what we saw before the break. Back to Williams. Passes it to Corp. Shot clock at six. Back to Williams. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the way up. Williams has got 11 points. And that's a difficult shot in the face of a defender that towers over. Well, you know, he almost seems to enjoy those mismatches, Steve. It gives him a chance to show what a strong finisher he is. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. And the Lakers with some changes. Robert Sacre, he's checked in for Gasol. Jody Meeks comes in for Nick Young. And Steve Blake is subbed in for Jordan Hill. Blake kicks to Kobe.
Fade away. Blake defended by Corbin. And there's Steve Blake on the assist from Kobe. Blake's got his second basket of the night. Well, there's plenty to like about him as a player, but, you know, one thing that really stands out is the quick trigger. He can catch the ball in space, defenders all over him, but, you know, in an instant, lets that shot go, and he is accurate. And something else we can say about him is that he's got a lot of cuts. I mean, a lot of courage. He'll be the first one to step into the lane and draw a charge, even if it might get him a little beat up. Damari Carroll's checked in for Atlanta. Lakers leading by three. And here's Nash outside. But they recover it. Meeks dishes to Sacre. Out of bounds, Atlanta takes possession. The Hawks trail by three. Outside Teague. He kicks it to Horford. Back to Teague. He dishes it to Williams. The offensive rebound. Horford. Rejected by Meeks. And they'll keep possession. The Hawks have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. Well, you look at the numbers from a season ago, guys. This was one of the worst free throw shooting teams in the NBA, 72%. And, you know, there was plenty of blame to go around for that. I mean, it wasn't just one or two guys. I mean, for the most part, the entire team struggled. And the Hawks making a change here. Jenkins checked in. And here is Los Angeles now. They lead by one. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Nash kicks to Kobe. Right side, Kobe. Drains it from 17 feet out. Kobe's got 14. He's got so much junk in his trunk. He'll find a way to hurt you. Nash against T. Here's Jenkins. No good off the back of the rim. Great defensive anticipation there to challenge that shooter. Blake for three. And he trains the three. But let's see. They may need to review it. I'm not sure the ball was out of his hand in time. Well, we thought the third quarter was over. But it turns out the officials are going to review the play to see if he released the ball before the buzzer. Well, now that we can see the replay, it looks like he did get the shot off in time. It looked that way to me originally. And that's the call we should see here. You're right. I think he got it off. But anytime it's as close a call as that was, uh, in a big situation like this, I, I, it's always smart to take a closer look. And they're going to count it. They're overturning the original call after looking at the replay. Yeah, good to see them get that one right. That's exactly why we have this rule in place. And I like it. Each basket is so important in these games that uh, you just got to make sure you get it right at the end of. We welcome you back to what has been a good one here as we get into the fourth quarter. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for the Lakers. You know, block shots, guys, a clear indicator on the stat sheet of their excellent defense. I mean, leaving them no room to get off any shots. And another thing they're doing is really taking advantage of fast break opportunities, scoring some easy baskets. Good. That's a very crafty move right there. When you're giving up height, it's time to unleash the fadeaway. Lakers leading by four. Now here's Johnson. Back to Gasol. The shot, no good. Great D that time from Brand. They push it up for on three. Here's Williams. Rejected by Johnson. And it's out of bounds to the Hawks as Atlanta retains possession. Atlanta making some changes. Paul Millsaps checked in for Horford. And it's Teague in for John Jenkins. Oh. 
Teague against Johnson. Three-pointer, and Jeff Teague with the three. I like the offensive awareness to exploit that lack of coverage on that play. Los Angeles has gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. Five of 12. Lakers working the ball around now. Farmar passes to Young. The Lakers rebound. Here's Gasol. The shot is good off the backboard. And the Lakers lead by three. He got a great read of where that miss was going, and that allowed him to be the first guy to it and get the putback. T gets to Corbin. Back to T. Outside Williams to tie it up. And that comes off the assist by Jeff T. 16 points for Lou Williams. That's his first three-pointer of the half. Remember, he did make one in the first half as well. Here's Farmar. Steps back and drains the jump shot. About a minute and a half into the fourth quarter now. Outside Williams. Millsap sets the pick for Williams. To take the lead. Another three for Atlanta. Well, as we move into the fourth, it's been an even game. Yeah, it has been. Neither team able to create any significant separation so far. Steve? Yeah, that's right, guys. Uh, the lead has now changed hands five times. That's not what they needed there, that's for sure. Atlanta making a switch here. And we're around two minutes into the fourth quarter here. He passes to Teague. The finger roll finish at the bucket. Teague's got nine points here in the second half. Beautiful finger roll to cap the head drive off. He knows how to finish with some flair and flavor, guys. Williams against Kobe. Back to Young. Shoots the three. Rebounded by the Hawks. Millsap's got four rebounds now tonight. And the Hawks with possession. They're on a 13-4 run right now. It's Williams with the drive. And it's blocked. And it's the Lakers on the break. Ahead, Kobe defended by Corbin. That's good. How about that play? Great body control. Still manages to finish the play despite the contact. You know, when that whistle blows, you're not done. Get greedy and find a way to knock it down. Chris Kamen has checked in for Los Angeles. What a clutch performance. He loves being in these situations. Just relishes the opportunity. A lot of guys say they do, but you can see it in his face. He truly does. Teague with the ball. Guarded now by Nash. T kicks to Williams for three. No good. And the Lakers take it the other way. Young left side. Deflected. And that's out of bounds. The Lakers will retain possession. And just about three minutes through the fourth quarter here. Taken away by Williams. Here is Corver, defended by Gasol. And the foul called on Kyle Gasol. That's foul number two for him. Oh yeah, he had not established position. You know, I'd prefer the refs to whistle with a block when in doubt. I thought that was a good call there. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. The score not at 48. 158 left in the game. And some changes here for the Lakers. Robert Sacre comes in for Paul Gasol. And Wesley Johnson was sub for Nick Young. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Yes, guys. Mike Budenholzer had some words for his team. With a deficit as we approach the final buzzer, he stayed upbeat, saying, listen, we can battle back, fellas. Just stay with me. I need all our effort here, and we can bring him home. Fellas? Second one 
is good. Putting both at the line, and it's a two-point ball game. They're really doing a good job working hard to get inside and draw contact, a little more so than they did in the first half. Now, to keep a lead like this, they should continue to attack the paint like they have been. Don't settle for jump shots. Find your way to the free throw line. Came in inside, working on Horford. Kicks it out to Johnson. And the pass to Nash. Feeds it to Kobe. Six on the shot clock. Rebound by the Hawks. Horford's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Now here comes Teague, leading the break. And that one's good. And the Hawks lead by four. Gotta love the finger roll up and over the defense. Lakers have gone three or seven from the four in the fourth. That's a 42% mark in the quarter. And Wesley Jackson with the slam. Went for the two-hander on that slam. That's where the weight room comes into play, Kevin. <laughs> I think some urgency from him there. Yeah, he's sensing this is a critical time in this game, guys. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. T kicks to Williams. The putback. Oh, and the jam by Horford. He could have tipped it home, but he wanted to give this crowd something to remember. Dynamic work right there. Throw down that rebound. Yes, sir. Well, no need to back it out if you're in position for the dunk. And the shot is good. 19 points for Kobe Bryant. And now the crowd really getting into it. Listen to that. It is shaking in here, guys. Absolutely insane. Here's Teague. The feather touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. Lakers trail by four. And Kobe, here we go. And he takes that one up and powers it through. A free run to the hoop and some thunder on the finish. Not exactly the way the D would have drawn that one. Mm -mm. And when you got the space, you might as well throw it down. That's what I always used to do. <laughs> Outside team. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Steve Nash. That will get him his fourth foul of the game and give the bonus who over the line for two. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Atlanta. These long range shots look like layups out there, guys. The number of second chance points they've gotten is also impressive. I mean, they've kept so many possessions alive with offensive rebounds. I don't need to tell you guys, those free throws are big. It's a two possession game now. Los Angeles has gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Yes! And he has brought them to within two points. Atlanta's gone 3 or 4 from downtown here in the fourth. Well, we can probably expect to see him slow it down now. Yeah, you got the lead. Burn some clock here. Smart move. Yep. Hit his foot. And they're saying he kicked the ball. There's 39 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Steve Nash. That'll be foul number five on him. And Drew the bonus will be headed to the free throw. He hits the first one. And that makes it a three-point lead. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a four-point ball game. For Los Angeles, they've gone 7 of 11 from the floor in the final quarter so far. Own some solid looks for them. Good on the first, and that narrows the lead down to just three. So he gets them both. They're in great position now thanks to those clutch free throws. Just a one possession game now. Here's T. Outside Williams. Connects! Oh, what a clutch shot. That could be the difference maker. Big, big moment in this game. 
The Lakers shooting the ball really well in this game, 58%. Here's Kobe. Sinks it. And he has brought them to within two points. One after the other, Kobe taking care of business. And they go to the intentional foul. He drops the first one, and that looks at a three-point lead. Paul Gasol's checked in for the Lakers. Young comes in for Wesley Johnson. And so he drops them both. It's a four-point ball game. And the Lakers call time here. They trail by four. 23 seconds left in the fourth. Jordan Hill, he's checked in for Chris Kamen. Kobe goes in. Nash outside. Pass to Young. Back to Nash. Let's the three fly. Counts. And on a sensational bucket to bring them within one. This game has taken on a new feel since halftime. For sure, the energy level on both sides has gone way up after the break. Boy, that pass was in the air a long time. Long enough for him to get a finger on it anyway and send it out of bounds. Al Horford. T dishes to Corver. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Steve Nash. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. And it's like no other option but to foul and hope for some misses. Yep, you got to extend the game here. Try to keep that clock from moving. So he gets them both, and it's a three-point game. And the free throws make things a lot more simple for them. Now you just have to guard against the three-pointer. And the Lakers call time here. They're behind by three. Six seconds left in the fourth quarter. What do you think, guys? Well, down three, you don't necessarily have to go for the three. You could go for the quick bucket and then the foul. I'm not sure. I mean, in this situation, I think they should look for the three, Steve. I mean, try to tie this thing up. You've got three-point shooters. Let it fly. It's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. Young for three. Off target from downtown. And so it's the Hawks who come out on top. It was tight, but they managed it. 